Hello ladies, today slightly different hair, so I put my hair a little bit back as you can see and so my hair doesn't really come to my face all the time and let me tell you, this is like a game changer, you have a long hair and you're struggling with all the time your hair coming forward and it's just annoying, then let me tell you, this is just the best what you can do for yourself, just buy this kind of little pins and and just put them even something like this you know like this was such a random thing for me but it's honestly like i can breathe <laughs> nothing is annoying me all the time so yeah something so simple and can change your day <laughs> we going this is the park today i was i decided to take you with me because it's such a lovely day let me stop. Such a beautiful surroundings. And the subject of today's video is going to be quite, um, I hope, interesting for you. I actually spoke with my partner. I was just sitting today and yeah, I would vlog. I just wasn't so sure about what I'm going to vlog. And he was like, just vlog about like how to catch a man like him. <laughs> and I'm like, Do you know, it's actually maybe not exactly this subject, but I was thinking Maybe I should talk about um, what kind of qualities in men should we look for. I'm going to only talk about um, character, about his character, about what kind of person he is and uh, something which you're actually going to, you're not going to struggle in life because obviously if you want to be with someone for a really long period of time, things are going to annoy you and even small things can um, destroy a relationship if you can't really... Uh, pass them if you can't uh, accept those uh, small event things so so yeah first thing what i i would say is one of the most important is might be surprised you might not be find a partner who is um, good organized yes you hear me <laughs> if you're looking for a partner for your whole life believe me man who knows how to organize things it's just such a relief you know for everyday life we go for holiday i don't really need to worry because my partner he just organized hotel he just i can only like focus maybe on trees maybe on some kind of uh, uh, i don't know places that are like um, great i don't know museums something's what i like we spa or something finding this kind of small elements but when it comes to whole trip he's just absolutely amazing when it comes to organizing stuff and it's such a like a you know i was previously in relationship when i was i i was the person who was organizing everything and the other party wasn't really bothering or um they just didn't know how to do it and it's such a difference let me tell you from my experience you don't really need to go through it yourself if you have a partner who is going to organize stuff for you and for your um everyday life for your holiday for even like small things like surprises you know he's going to be good in this kind of organizing this kind of surprises for you then yes this is this is such a good thing for in looking for a man and how you actually can you check if he's good in those stuff well first thing what you can do is um, ask him obviously for um, he obviously is going to ask you for a date at some point and uh, if man is straight away asking you like oh what would you like to eat or uh, what is your favorite food blah 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 this kind of that he doesn't really have this kind of creativity and um he doesn't know where where to start then you know that's the first sign that he might not be a really good organized um, like good organized person because if he can't find out a good place for a first date without asking million questions then you know it's just you know not something what uh, i think is uh, like for me i would value a man who really is going to surprise you he doesn't really need to ask a thousand questions because you know um first date uh, you don't really need to go exactly the place that you're going all the time you want something different so you're actually looking for a partner who is going to um give you a little bit maybe different taste of food or uh, take you to the place that you've never been before what is the point for you to go to the same place that you're going i don't know for coffee with your friends or 
Do you know what I mean? Believe me when I'm telling you, or being with men who is uh, well organized, it's just it's just such a it's it's just for a long run. It's such a great thing, such a great great uh, characteristic about him, and um, you're not going to regret to be with this kind of person because he is always going to be on top of things. Is this not like such a beautiful? place to be right now and the weather oh the weather is absolutely stunning wonderful well maybe i should really start with saying you should find a man who is a gentleman because you don't want a man who um you know who is um, who doesn't know how to behave when it comes to a woman um that's quite important because um, it's not the most important thing really but uh, well, there are, there are more important things. I would just say that it's nice to have a man who, not who opened door for you. It's nice to have a man who stand up when you're coming to the room. You know, it's 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 a great uh, thing. However, there are more important things uh, when it comes in life that you want your partner to be as well loving. This is maybe something maybe strange for other uh, girls, but you want your partner to have this kind of. Um, um, character that he's going to show his feeling because you're going to um, struggle you know you want your partner to hug you to uh, sit on the couch with you kiss you in your forehead there are things that um, are important for women and if you have a man who doesn't really show much feelings then it's going to you're going to struggle you know i know because my partner he's not this kind of um, person who is showing off a lot so yeah, my partner, he wasn't like uh, showing a lot of emotions on the beginning. He's just not this kind of man. And uh, he's quite, you know, strong-minded. He thinks, uh, well, I don't want to say this like a bad thing, but I really love him. And he has this kind of character that I was um, attracted to straight away. Let me just stop for a second and show you how how amazing, amazing those are. <laughs> so, um, so it took some time, took some work from me as well. So he started to be more um, loving and when we're sitting in the sofa, he would hug me himself, you know. He wasn't like this in the beginning. And I struggled because obviously you want, uh, especially on the beginning, you want your partner to um, buy you flowers, to, you know, spoil you even like this kind of loving way. And he wasn't like this, you know. I was attracted to him in other ways as well, but, I was struggling a little bit. I was thinking like, is he not loving me enough or something? But no, he's just not this kind of person. So I'm not saying that if the man doesn't have this on the beginning, then uh, it's not going to work. No, this is actually something you can, sorry. This is actually something you can, both of you can work on it, but uh, both of you need to want to work on it. So my partner, yes, he changed in those four years because that's how long we are together. We are four years together. He changed um, a lot. I change a lot as well and uh, and let me tell you it's possible to to train this kind of like train your brain that you are more loving person as well which is good I think and as I'm saying it's quite important because when you're going to cinema you want to hold your hands together it's kind of little things you know makes uh, your life sweeter so going back to gentleman thing um, being a gentleman means that uh, man as well is going to respect you and you want your partner to respect you, respect your voice when you're talking, for example, when you actually express your opinion about some subject, any subject really. And he, even if he doesn't agree, he's not stopping you, but he wait until you finish and he might not agree, you know, we're all different, we can have our own different opinions about stuff, about politics, about everything you want really. And it's important that he's not going to like go into your um, sentence when you're talking. He respects you, he respects your privacy as well, he respects you as a woman, he knows um, that you're different. And that's as well being a gentleman. It's not only about opening your door and um, paying for the meal in the restaurant. This is also about this kind of things that um, it's very important to respect each other. And when we're in the subject of respect, the thing what is obviously connected to respect is trust. 
that's another thing what you need to look for when you're actually dating a man or um, no, when you're dating because that's the first step really so if there is something that it, some kind of even the man is amazing hands home are absolutely brilliant you know it can be true but there is something inside your voice some kind of voice that I don't really trust this guy something is wrong then you know most of the time you're going to be right and it's important to trust yourself trust this kind of uh, voice that you want your partner you don't want to check your partner's phone when you're together you don't want uh, you don't want this kind of situation that he's going to toilet and you quickly check what's going on in his life no you want yourself you want both of you to trust each other it's very important and trust obviously it's something what is earned um, people are saying that you can have both ways you can either have trust it's earned or trust it's until you actually you trust someone but if they broke your trust that's it you know so i actually think that trust is something that you uh, earn after a while so if you are the person that trusts more so the people and you're just waiting until someone is going to break your trust and you can in many times many situations you can actually disappoint yourself because you're going to date as well other people that's just normal yeah? you're trying to find someone but um, you don't want him to focus on other people when you're actually dating when you're on the some kind of step already that you feel that yeah this is going in some kind of good direction and then he is uh, like you feel he's still texting other people that's a you know no no <laughs> going to restaurant then and you can see that he's looking around on different women and you know you can, you can see the signs come on we are women all of us we are women and we know when men is a little bit more distracted you know and you don't want a partner like this who is going to like you're going to walk on the street and he's going to turn around because there's going to be a beautiful woman walking you know there's lots of beautiful women and there should be more even i am all about that we should all be beautiful and all of us we should take care of each other and women should empower another woman not uh, bitch about each other so that's that's you know just kind of tips little tips that if he's walking around and his eyes are always struggling to focus on one person then you know that might be a sign another one which is not going to be exactly easy to discover when it comes to men but you want your um, life partner to be you want your life partner to be your friend so if there are signs that you can't really um, speak to your partner about everything because he i don't know like doesn't like the subject or he just don't want to talk about this and he's going to cut you in the sentence then you need to think about him as a is it your time worth it to invest with a person like this if uh, he's not going to be really you won't be able to talk about everything with him because what you need to remember is that you're spending with someone all your life let's just not be not kidding yourself here but if you're going to spend with your partner 50 years then you always want to tell him everything there will be situations that you want to share with him you're going to be proud of something you're going to share with it you're going to be embarrassed you want to share those kind of things with him and if you can because of some reasons then it's going, you're going to struggle you're going to struggle if your partner is going to be like oh i don't want to talk about this this is just subject you can speak with your friends but uh, your girlfriends but you can't really talk to me about this stuff Do you know it's it's about even silly things if you can't tell your man this might be really green zone here we coming but some of you might be like oh, how can you say this to your man but you know when you actually have a baby as well when you're giving birth my partner was next to me when i was giving birth and you can imagine there was like messy <laughs> everywhere messy and he was there for me he supported me because i really needed him at this stage at this stage and if he would say to me he's not going to be too next to me on the labor because he doesn't like blood my partner he hates blood he hates blood <laughs> and he still was there and if your partner is going to uh, avoiding some kind of subject even when it comes to health that you can't share that you are worried because there's some kind of something happened on your body or something and he's like you know i don't want to talk about these things with you then you need to think if that's a lifetime actually partner because there might be situations in life there always are situations in life then you need to share with your another half 
that you i don't know struggling because something happened on your body or you have a labor you want him to be there and he's going to tell you and you know this is like so disgusting i'm not going to be there you know because i heard stories as well, like this as well and you want your partner to be you want to be honest with each other but you want him to be your friend life lifetime friend you want to share stuff good stuff bad stuff and this is including from both of you to be very open and very very like um, open-minded but open with each other as well so i think that's it ladies that's the subject for today's video I hope you enjoyed. I hope this is going to be helpful for you because that's what I'm, I want to do. I want to be give you this kind of insight when you actually I am in a relationship, very happy relationship, and we struggle as well. But I can easily say that my partner is like my best friend. He's real. Our relationship is very like trustful. We trust each other. I'm not saying that we're not jealous sometimes about each other because I am this kind of person that is very jealous sometimes. He doesn't give me reasons, but you know, there's this kind of characters of people like well, I'm just one of them that uh, I'm jealous type, and it's amazing. You know, I couldn't imagine to have be with be with someone better. We have a child now, and it's it's just brilliant. And I really wish all of you to find a partner like this in your life, who even thinks like this might not think that being organized is important, but. Honestly is because then we're going on holiday and so sorted and my life is easier this way. I can focus on different things. So I hope you enjoy. Please give it a thumb give it a thumbs up if you like this uh, video and subscribe. I'm trying to upload twice a week, but as you can imagine with babies it might be sometimes difficult. Mm -hmm.